All right, so we ended the video off last picking this thing up. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Link is in the description below. Right now, we're finna unload this thing. That took three fucking hours. Uh, but we got it off. That's all that matters. Now, the point of this video, we got this fucking thing off. Let's put some wheels on it. So, coming back here to my little stash. I got these bad boys. C1, as you can tell, needs to be popped back on. So, I can't put the whole set, but I can put two fronts on. And then, if you walk over here to my 350Z, I have these, which I really want to see what these look like on here. So, let's get this to a more movable ground and throw some wheels on it. All right. Let's change the front, too. Cool. All right, we put the front ones on. Fitment. It's pretty fucking close. I still gotta clean them up and put the center caps on it, but that's what they look like for right now. It's pretty fire. I fucks with them. Let's get the front caps put on them. All right, so the center caps are on. That's what they look like. Looks pretty good. I like it a lot. Uh, now it's time to put these on the back. This rear fitment is terrible. I have spacers, but not on me. So I'm gonna just put these on and see what they look like with this offset. See if it fixes the fitment. If not, I'm gonna have to add spacers. Let's get this thing off. All right, I'm in the middle of taking these wheels off, putting them on here. And I must say so far, it's looking pretty good. Just want to update y'all. Let's get back to it. Well, we rolled the fender. Thanks, Sam. But the front definitely rubs. And the back no longer rubs, but look at the fitment. Pretty slick, not bad. Looks good. I'm gonna put the back ones on the front too and take these off. But I do like how it looks right now. These fuckers look fucking good. God damn, I don't know which one looks better. The three pieces are these Kenzie's. I can't fucking pronounce what they're called. I don't know what they're called, but they look good. I don't know if I like these more or these more. What do y'all like? Drop a comment. Tell me if I should run this whole set or this whole set. Right now, I'm gonna put this whole set on. Just because I don't have the extra two tires for this, which I can get if I needed to, if I ever wanted to change it. But yeah. Huge update. I'm trading my LS400 to my sister for her bagged hard body so she can have a daily driver. So this is officially my sister's now. And this is officially mine. The story behind this truck is my dad got it completely stocked. He bagged it himself. He painted it himself. And it was all just a learning curve. He doesn't have no really emotional attachment to this truck. And he just got it just to learn how to do work on trucks and practice. But he gave it to my sister for her first vehicle. 
and it started running rough. It started having a fuel issue. So they parked it and it set for about a year or so until I got it. So now it's in my possession and I just don't want to see it sitting anymore. I want to actually see it in its prime or and being enjoyed. So I'm about to try to crank it up and go give it a good wash because it probably has not had a wash in about, I'd say, a year and a half to two years. So let's get all this pollen off and see how it goes. Barely. I mean, it's been setting up for over a year. It needs air. It needs yeah, that wash. back tire needs a little air in it. Let me lift it. Brand new tire there. It's pull. nice how these work, though. You know what? Because they haven't I mean, working it's a everything. Little truck, you can hear the doors. I mean, yeah. All right, that made a total difference. Like, big old difference. This paint actually looks pretty good. My dad did this paint job in this yard, right up path, right on the other side of that shed. And for the first time him ever doing a paint job out in the yard, it came out actually pretty damn great. He loves it. Of course, he sees all the flaws in it, but if you aren't a paint expert, you do not see the flaws and it actually looks pretty damn good. But yeah, it washed up. The bags lifted up great. I moved it from right there where it sat for about a year to right here and did all right. It just needs two batteries instead of one. So one can work the air compressor and everything and one can work the vehicle. But uh, let's crank this thing up and move it. bagged hard body so this is now hers and this is now mine and i really like this truck dad built it so it's really cool having a truck he built but he doesn't have no attachment to this truck really and he does not mind building another one and since i got that hard body in the back i'm thinking about trading this one so me and my sister can be twins there's this manual swapped ls400 that is on facebook marketplace and he i've been talking to him and I was originally gonna trade him my GMC Sierra, but it's a drift project car. And he, the dude said he didn't wanna take my only daily driver. And he's like, what else you got? And I told him I had the bad car body and he's actually interested in it. So I'm gonna go down to Florida and see if me and my sister can both have LS 400s. So today is Saturday and tomorrow I'm going to Florida to possibly be trading in this bagged hard body for a manual swapped LS400. If you want to stay up to date and see what happens, hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all for the next video.